Hey guys, this is Caffeine Gaming, and welcome to a Skyrim book reading. Today we're reading a children's annuid, the annuid paraphrased. I'm just going to go ahead and jump in here. The first ones were brothers, Anu and Padme. They came into the void and time began. As Anu and Padme wandered the void, the interplay of light and darkness created Nur. Both Anu and Padme were amazed and delighted with her appearance, but she loved Anu and Padme retreated from them in bitterness. Nur became pregnant, but before she gave birth, Padme returned, professing his love for Nur. She told him that she loved only Anu, and Padme beat her in rage. Anu returned, fought Padme, and cast him outside time. Nur gave birth to creation, and died from her injuries soon after. Anu, grieving, hid himself in the sun, and slept. Meanwhile, life sprang up on the twelve worlds of creation and flourished. After many ages, Padme was able to return to time. He saw creation and hated it. He swung his sword, shattering the twelve worlds and their alignment. Anu awoke and fought Padme again. The long and furious battle ended, with Anu the victor. He cast aside the body of his brother, who he believed was dead, and attempted to save creation by forming the remnants of the twelve worlds into one, Nern, the world of Tamriel. As he was doing so, Padme struck him through the chest with one last blow. Anu grappled with his brother and pulled them both outside of time, forever. The blood of Padme became the Daedra. The blood of Anu became the stars. The mingled blood of the both became the Aedra, hence their capacity for good and evil, and their greater affinity for earthly affairs than the Daedra, who have no connection to creation. On the world of Nern, all was chaos. The only survivors of the twelve worlds of creation were the Elnofe and the Hist. The Elnofe were the ancestors of Myrrh and Men. The Hist are the trees of Argonia. Nern originally was all land with interspersed seas, but no oceans. A large fragment of the Elnofe world landed on Nern relatively intact, and the Elnofe living there were the ancestors of the Myrrh. These Elnofe fortified their borders from the chaos outside, hid their pocket of calm, and attempted to live on as before. Other Elnofe arrived on Nern, scattered among, amid the confused jumble of the shattered worlds, wandering and finding each other over the years. Eventually, the wandering Elnofe found the hidden land of the old Elnofe, and were amazed and joyful to find their kin living among, amid the splendor of ages past. The wandering Elnofe expected to be welcomed into the peaceful realm, but the old Elnofe looked on them as degenerates fallen from their former glory. For whatever reason, war broke out, and raged across the whole of Nern. The old Elnofe retained their ancient power and knowledge, but the wanderers were more numerous and toughened by their long struggle to survive on Nern. This war reshaped the face of Nern, sinking much of the land beneath new oceans and leaving the lands as we know them, Tamriel, Akavir, Atmora, and Yukuda. The old Elf Elnofe realm, although ruined, became Tamriel. The remnants of the wanderers were left divided on the other three continents. Over many years, the Elnofe of Tamriel became the Mer, Elves, the Dwemer, the Deep Ones, sometimes called Dwarves, the Chimer, the Changed Ones, who later became the Dunmer, the Dunmer, the Dark or Cursed Ones, the Dark Elves, the Bosmir, the Green or Forest Ones, the Wood Elves, and the Altmir, the Elder or High, El high Ones, the High Elves. On the other continents, the Wandering Elnofe became the Men, the Nords of Atmora, the Red Guards of Yakuta, and the Seyezi of Akavir. The Hist were bystanders in the Elnofe War, but most of their realm was destroyed as the war passed over it. A small corner of it survived to become Black Marsh and Tamriel, but most of their realm was sunk beneath the sea. Eventually, men returned to Tamriel. The Nords were the first, colonizing the northern coast of Tamriel before recorded history, led by the legendary Izgamir. The thirteenth of his line, King Harold, was the first to appear in written history, and so the mystic era ended. And that ends this. We have a ton of other books to read, so I will see you for the next installment of Skyrim Books.